फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो गाइज कोविड केसेज आर डिक्रीजिंग नाउ डे बाई डे एंड पीपल आर मूविंग बैक टू देयर ऑफिस सो रेगुलर रूटीन नाउ इन माई फ्यू लास्ट इन माई लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज आई हैव टोल यू हाउ यू कैन बुक अपॉइंटमेंट फॉर मैक्सिकन वीज़ा एंड वॉट आर द डॉक्यूमेंट्स वट वट डॉक्यूमेंट्स वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड हाउ यू हैव टू फिल अप द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म एंड वट वॉज माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ गिविंग द visa interview at delhi mexican embassy what were the questions asked so if you are looking for information related to these questions you must go through these videos these are really helpful i found i i faced a lot of difficulties uh, to get these information but yes again uh, i got the the help from the mexico visa discussion telegram group uh, which link i have already given in these three videos so you can go and check it out most of the questions i i'll say 99% of the questions that you have in your mind some or the other person will be asking that and that will get covered so few people were telling me in the comment that uh, the link is not working but i have tried with uh, one other telegram account also M means i was not there in that group and uh, with that number i tried so it's working fine i don't know why it's not working for you guys if it's not working you can uh, ping me on telegram my uh, my uh, handle there is also in incredible indian incrdbl underscore indian i'll try to add you to that group or any document if you are looking for i'll try to give you that so coming back to our today's video topic this is a generic video means uh, it's uh, not focused only for mexico or the latin america country but this uh, what are the things that you should pack while you are relocating to some other country as an indian so these are the common should have and could have and must have items that you need to carry if you are uh, relocating to any country in this world okay i mean uh, the major majority of the countries so i have divided the list in three categories uh, must have should have and could have by following the famous moscow strategy so let's quickly uh, look into them so once you have got your visa stamped either for your tourist uh, either for uh, tourist visa or work permit visa whatever it is uh, the next most important thing that you will require will be the ticket so if it is a company sponsored visa so you will get tickets from company so no need to worry about that uh, i don't have to worry about that and most of the people who are going to on site so they also don't need to uh, think for that but yes if you are if it is a self spon self sponsored trip so yeah you need to get your ticket first from you can get it from any of the website i just gave to website name here book booking.com and mmt the second most important thing is your travel insurance that will cover your uh, most of the travel insurance cover the medical insurance part and your luggage insurance and if you miss your flight so things like that so you can get it from policy bazaar i was checking there so uh, for mexico and uh, i uh, got very competitive deals there so you can give it a try the third thing is documents so so you are moving to uh, maybe for study purpose or maybe for work work purpose or even if you are going for as a tourist so you should carry some important documents like your uh, id documents and uh, if you are going for studies so you should carry your uh, all the education related documents your work related documents if you are going for on site so all the documents you should carry you should carry at least 3 to 4 copies of uh, your uh, original documents so because maybe at times you may not they may ask for a photocopy and you don't have a photocopy so you can't get it uh, very easily at some uh, foreign country so it's better to carry 3 4 copies passport side photo this is a very interesting thing because uh, one of my friend told me uh, that the passport size photo he, he required that he will require it for a lot of documents um, so he required it and it costed him almost 6 to 7 times than what you pay here in india okay so you carry around 40 50 pieces uh, 
of your passport size photo that is a suggestion from my side fourth is your prescribed generic medicine so most of the european or in maybe us uk uk you go uh, in those countries you won't get medicine without uh, prescription and just to get a paracetamol if you have to consult give a consultation charge of may maybe 100 euro or uh, say 50 uh, us dollar so that will obviously pinch your pocket so get it prescribed here from some uh, doctor and uh, carry it don't carry any medicine without prescription it's uh, most of the time they don't check but if they check uh, you might be in trouble so carry all the medicines with prescription only and uh, yes uh, any medicine that you are taking on a regular basis maybe you yourself or your family so you take good amount of those medicines also with you the fifth and very most important uh, part is the suitcase that uh, that will carry all these stuff with you so yeah so i uh, after a lot of search i ended my search result here and uh, i'll i am going to buy this particular product so yeah uh, those who are wondering let me tell you i haven't uh, yet traveled to mexico though i got my visa stamped uh, way back in january only due to some reasons i'm still here in india but yeah i'm planning to uh, move next month so so that's the reason i i was creating this list and uh, I thought of sharing that with you guys so that this might be helpful for you and uh, yeah these information I have collected from uh, three or uh, three four friends of mine who have already moved recently so so uh, they were able to guide me like these are things uh, that should be there in your list okay so that was the I'll give the link of all these products uh, in the description so you can check it out the next important thing will be your universal travel adapter so in most of the countries our plug system won't work there they have a different uh, this pin uh, plug system so you will need adapter so there is a lesser variety also available in most of the places but i saw this has a very good rating and in fact my friend suggested this one only so i'm going to buy this one you can buy it from any of the electronic store and uh, i have seen uh, when i went for my visa interview i saw this particular product not this brand but this uh, power adapter was being sold at the price of around uh, 2000 in uh, delhi airport so it's better to carry it with you than buying it uh, you know uh, at airport or the other country so we have completed our must have list so these things must be there in your packing or um, packing list now coming to should have should have uh, again th these are advisable but yeah depends on person to person uh, so if you like to cook your food yourself and if you are thinking of saving some money so obviously you have to cook your own food uh, eating outside is not healthy and not even you know uh, good for your pocket so it's good to carry a pressure cooker so most of the most of my not most almost all of my friend told me to must carry a pressure cooker i have selected this particular variant for me because all the pressure cooker that is already there at my house are big one so you need to carry a smaller one maybe two liter or three liter so i have selected this one this has this karai shape so uh, i found it very useful that uh, we can use it for cooking other stuff also you can your you can choose any variety of pressure cooker you want next will be your roti or really making utensils so the rolling pin the the Balan chakla whatever it is called i don't know what's it's called in english so and idli making mold and the, those uh, utensil you should carry uh, because it's very easy roti is quite difficult also but idli making is easier you just have to put the batter in the mold and it would be ready in few not few but yeah few minutes 
so it's easier so that's why and buying these stuff means pressure cooker routinely making uh, machines uh, utensils are available in outside supermarket also in uk us uh, latin con latin america countries europe uh, in, in not most of the european country you might not get mm, but yeah it's available in us uk and latin america but they are very high priced so the w the item that i have shown you was 1900 so there you might get it for maybe 8000 or 10000 so uh, it's better to carry it from here so and uh, yeah you have to keep the luggage limit also in mind so it's most of the uh, flight it is 23 kgs mm, yeah you double check it with your uh, with the f mm, flight that you are traveling so it it might vary but yeah most of the, the this have 23 kg limit and you can ov easily accommodate all the stuff that i've listed here in fact more than this uh, okay moving on mm, next is your bed sheet comforter and pillow so i have selected this particular set the, this looks very nice and uh, i like the color and this is a uh, set of uh, this one bed sheet comforter and a pillow with pillow cover for single person so i thought this was well suited for my need you can ch choose any any type you want okay mask yeah again mask is very costly there so it's better to carry it from here because you won't like to buy one mask for 200 300 rupees there so this is a five set of five masks uh, which is reusable so i like this you can check the link if you want you can go for this one so these small items uh, uh, my friend told me they are very costly there N not very costly but yeah comparative comparison to india compared to india it's costlier so it's better to carry yeah again you will need indian spices because if, if you are going to cook your own food you will you will obviously cook indian uh, variety of uh, food so you should carry indian spices mix you can get it from big bazaar or any of the grocery store you can ask even your mom or any of your family member to help you out with the kind of masala you should carry yeah and don't carry or don't carry the uh, seed ones i mean the whole seed masalas uh, carry only in powder form because uh, during uh, this luggage checking M uh, few of uh, people were telling in that group that uh, if they see any seed material like dal or or any kind of this ki if the seeds so they will ask you to throw it so i don't know what's the reason if you know the reason please comment it so no dal no this one but few of my friends again were lucky to carry this thing so again it depends on your luck but uh, yeah d dal and uh, those things you will get pulses you will cereals you will get there also so i i don't uh, think it's advisable to carry it with you next item is your indian instant food mix like karai paneer or your mixed dal tarka or any if you're you like south indian food so those ready mixes are there you can buy it for initial days because uh, you have to be in this one what what do they say quarantine for 15 days so you won't be able to go out and uh, it's 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 advisable if you it's wise to carry these kind of food mix so that you can cover those initial days and yeah if you are a vegetarian this was a suggestion from my vegetarian friend if you are a vegetarian so you must carry these instant food mixes so i'll give the link you can check it here but it's better to buy it from big bazaar or any kind of grocery store supermarket uh, af along with that you should ha carry some biscuit soups instant noodles snack items for your initial days then your toiletry uh, toiletries like soap oil if if you are using a particular variety of oil you might not get there so it's better to carry it from here now uh, coming to the could have items yeah and again uh, i'm telling you one more thing that all the uh, link i am giving just for reference purpose you can buy it uh, it's your choice mm, 
I have selected these products for my particular thing. So you can take a look. Okay, now coming to the could have items. So first could have item is your a good mobile, a 5G mobile because uh, I heard, I read in that particular group that uh, these Xiaomi mobiles, the Redmi, Xiaomi and uh, there was one uh, the Realme, uh, these mobiles were not working there. So they were not supported. Mm, I, I don't know like uh, whether they supported or not. So it's better to have a good quality uh, phone from uh, renowned brands like Apple or maybe OnePlus or uh, Samsung, Nokia, Motorola. So uh, because if you have if you face any kind of uh, issue so you can get it repaired. But uh, those brands if they are not if they are not uh, being used there so you might not get a repair option for that so i have selected this oneplus mobile for myself you you can go for any mobile so one of my friend also suggested that you can buy your phone there also uh, because their apple phones are quite cheap means cheaper than here but i thought again if i come back here to india and uh, if the warranty is not there so uh, that could be a problem so i am thinking of buying this phone and uh, and also this will help me for my vlogging purpose and all so yeah you all you comment me that whether it's advisable because i, I am also not sure that whether i should buy the phone here or should i buy it there though my phone is three years old uh, it's working fine so yeah please comment that uh, what is there in your mind regarding the phone option yeah clothes accessories shoes formal so my friend told me that the casual like you know, sneakers and uh, jeans and t-shirts they are okay it means they are not that very uh, highly priced but yeah if you are going to buy a branded formal shirt or formal pant or formal shoes so they are quite uh, expensive there so he told me if the like the US polo shirt that uh, we can buy it here for around 1500 or 2000 so that cost there around 3000 or maybe more than that so if you are I mean, I mean if you are traveling I think uh, it's advisable you carry at least two set of formal clothes from here and one formal shoe the yeah but the casual shoes and all you can buy it purchase there also power extension box so my friend told me that there uh, I mean like India they don't have a lot of plug-in option there so it's better to carry a power extension box uh, with 5 meter cord and uh, so I have selected this particular one because uh, this has USB option also you can uh, give it a look Yeah, so this is the one so this has the international sockets and also it has USB ports so I thought this will fit for my purpose next is your Bluetooth speaker uh, so this is also advisable because initial days you know quarantine so and uh, you'll feel homesick so this would be a good option to divert your mind because music is always a good thing if you are feeling down or something so almost every I mean every time you can't just plug in your headphone or earphone that uh, that might increase your headache or whatever you are having so a Bluetooth speaker is a again could have option for you to carry luggage weighing scale so this I I am I, I, going to order for myself because uh, you know uh, the, my friend uh, told me that if if your baggage is more than what the limited weight so they will charge you penalty and all so i thought it's better to this cost this the price of this item is only 300 so it's better to you know weigh your product and then travel rather than giving fine of 5000 6000 so these were the uh, list of items uh, please uh, comment which item you think is uh, 
I have missed and uh, which item think that should be removed from this list uh, and yes uh, also uh, if you are if you have any suggestion that I should add something in this list please comment it down I'll try to pin that comment so that other will uh, other people will also get help from this information and if you have watched the video till now so thanks a lot for this but uh, I see that many people are just watching the video and not supporting the channel so please help uh, me grow this channel more so that I could reach out to more people please like subscribe and uh, comment uh, what do you think about the video and any kind of suggestion any kind of uh, uh, thing if you want to comment uh, are welcome so thank you